Hello guys, it's Farmer Beavis once again, and welcome to a little sneak preview. Um, we not too long ago already to uh, had have taken a look at the um, Case Puma 230 Bad Boy Pack by Timber131. But um, now, thanks to Mr. Timber131, I got um, hold of the um, next version that is yet to be released, and um, I have the pleasure of um, showing that to you a bit early. So yeah, let's jump right in. So what does the um, 230 Bad Boy Pack come with? We of course have the track door um, itself, with, which comes in two versions. One in the classic Case IH Red and one as a kind of a black edition. And uh, those tractors cost uh, in-game 245,200, 95 upkeep a day, and output 269 horsepower. With the pack also comes um, the buyable twin wheels, which can be attached to either of the tractors uh, for 3,000 and 5 upkeep a day. They come in this handy pallet, and we will talk about that a bit later in the um, preview. Words, Beavis. Words. They exist. They do things. Anyhow, um, then we have the um, front loader bracket, which is essentially just a bit um, modified uh, from the in-game front uh, Stoll front loader. Um, costs five thousand four hundred and twenty upkeep a day. And the attachment I have on there is just um, the regular in-game manure gravel, so you don't need any special. Um, front other tools for this. Okay then, let's uh, jump to the tractor itself. Okay, and um, we start off in the interior. Uh, we have a lot of IC in this um, cab and a bunch of other neat features. Uh, we're gonna just start off with the IC features. We have, um, of course, the door opera operationable. We have the armrest that we can fold up or fold down. We can um, get the steering column out of the way. We can also um, wire the little um, button on the joystick here. We can um, unfold. Let me just, where's my camera key? We can unfold and we can fold the front linkage. Yeah, um, we also have um, here on the on the terminal, I think with case it's called multi-controller, uh, we can go into the GPS menu here and we can also switch to the um, normal menu, um, which kind of emulates an e isobus setup, I suppose. Um, but this is just this is just for decoration. This um, doesn't have any um, in-game functionality, but of course, it looks very neat and is a nice touch. Then up here we have the um, we can pull down the little sunshade, and we can also um, put the shade over the um, sunroof here to reduce glare. But we can also um, pop up the sunroof to let some air in. Then um, we of course can also pop out the rear window for additional air or better visibility. Uh, then, what else do we have? We have um, complete backlighting of the um, instrument panel and all the buttons. If we look here, um, the, uh, the actual um, gauges in the A column are backlit, the little displays are backlit, the um, multi-terminal or multi-controller is backlit, and um, this is not everything regarding the lights. Uh, when we look up here and uh, next to the radio, is a little schematic of the tractor. We now see that all the front lights are activated. If I um, press the light button once again, we also see that the back lights come on. And if I activate the beacon, we also see that the indicator light for the beacon is on. Uh, same goes for the um, turn indicators. I just have to start up the machine for that. We um, can see that we have the um, right indicator, left indicator, and of course also if I turn on the hazards, we see that the hazard lights come on. 
yeah also um what we have on this tractor are these um oversize warning um plates that um you have to flip out when you're um if i remember a carrier implement that is wider or that um is wider than the tractor itself i think it's it's a diff it's a bit different um in every um country but anyhow um we can flick those out um, of course you also have to have them out when you have the twin wheels attached but we come to that in a second you can uh, do that from in cap but also from outside the cap we're gonna talk about that later yeah um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pull forward a little and then we're gonna get out and um look around the exterior oh and um one thing i almost forgot as you see as i'm driving um the little joystick on the console moves, of course, according to how um, hard you press the accelerator. Okay, let's jump outside. Okay, on the outside, we also have a few features. Um, of course, we still have the um, stuff from the old version. Uh, mainly here, the um, door opener. We still can... Uh, remove or show the um, fenders and of course also hide or, or show the um, loader mounting uh, brackets and um, when we stand in front of the tractor here we see probably the biggest change about the upcoming version uh, the headlight assembly here is no longer just a flat texture it's um, fully modeled out you see um, all the light fixtures are modeled um, and the the covering glass and everything so yeah gi gives the um, front a whole new fresh and more detailed look and just yeah looks super awesome yeah then we can um, move uh, around the back um, back here we still can of course um, manually flip out the um, warning signs on each side but what we also can do, we can stand in the middle and press the X button and um, they both will fold out or fold in accordingly. Yeah, then back here um, also some work has been done. Um, the pin hitch has been made height adjustable. We will show that in a minute. Uh, down here the ball hitch also has been retrofitted to um, a European style one. And here in the right, um, or inside the right um, wheel, we see that little um, tank there that is for the brake system that also has been added because that was missing in the previous version. Yeah, then um, we should be done with everything on the outside. Yeah, then we um, will jump back into the cab and go for... Um, some additional features uh, let me just close the door here all right now for some additional features um, you see that the front linkage is um, folded up now and um, if I want to hook up to the front weight for example that is over here I can just drive up to it and the front three point automatically will come down to accept the um, implement so it's not like with other tractors where you then have the um, implement float in midair because the linkage arms aren't down yeah then if you um, set the implement down of course the linkage folds out of the way again and um, if you bring down your um, front linkage before um, hooking up to um, the implement it will also automatically fold away after you're done then um, we're gonna just quickly um, hook up to the loader here which is luckily really painless uh, since it's um, kind of modeled for this tractor you see you can just drive in and hook up to it no problem no um, weird collisions or anything we're gonna pull that put that back down and go back here to the twin wheels you can just um, drive up next to the twin wheels and you get a little prompt to um, hook up the twin wheels with the M key and of course since those are um, viable 
or um, attachable twin wheels you see that um, both pairs um, have the traces on the ground and not just um, one wheel trace as with the um, switchable duels as for example on the Maxim and we're gonna um, bring those back of course um, this assembly is just as easy um, one thing to note, um, this is still the, the preview version, um, I think those are, those are the old versions of the wheel boxes, but with the new version, as you, that is coming with the update, um, you see when the wheels are attached, um, the little, um, straps that hold the wheels in place when they are on there, um, are no longer displayed, so it looks a bit cleaner. Yeah, um... Since we are talking about the wheel box already, um, up until now you had to move it with the with a um, be it a front loader, a forklift, a telehandler, or something with, with pallet forks. Now with the um, new version, you can also just um, back up to the box here and attach it with the three point that is built into the box. So you can you can carry the box around that way which makes it a bit easier when you're picking the stuff up from the dealer because not everybody has has a front loader or whatever at the dealership yeah then um, we just gonna um, skip ahead and um, quickly uh, dem demonstrate the adjustable attacher let me just um, back up to this um, trailer there Whoops. Yeah, this is the first time Beavis has um, tried to hook up to a trailer in his life, apparently. Um, to adjust the trailer, or the, the the trailer hitch, you just select the tractor, and then you see in the F1 menu you get the option with the 5 or 6 key that is not on the um, numpad, uh, not on the numpad, but on the row of numbers above the, above the keyboard. You, um... With 6 you can bring the attacher down and with 5 you can um, raise it. So this is especially handy if you have um, very light trailers where you would otherwise um, kind of lift the um, dolly or whatever. But yeah, um, very nice detail. Finally, we're gonna just... Um, hook up uh, to this um, trailer here and go for a quick um, drive and then I'm gonna be quiet for a minute so you can listen to the engine sounds both from in cap and from out of cap so let's just um, pull out of the yard here and let me hide the um, the hut just for um, more clear visibility let's just pull out here Nobody's coming. Very good. Let's occupy the other lane a bit so we can take the turn wide. And then let's give her. Yeah guys, and that shall be it for the little preview here. Um, the mod is in final testing at the moment, so I expect it to be released um, yeah, within a reasonable time frame. But of course this is up to um, Timber131 and also of course depends on um, how much time him and his team can dedicate and um, if there are any major bugs found or whatever. 
but um, of course um, as soon as the um, new version is released I will update the video description with a link um, in the meantime if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like that would be awesome and yeah of course as always I thank you guys so much for taking time and watching this and also again big thank you to Mr. Timber131 for making this um, version available to me early so yeah, um, this is Farmer Beavis signing out and I shall see you later.